keywords and variables. There are some words that are used to give instructions to the computer in C++. A few of the commonly used words are showing in the video. These are called keywords. We will see how these keywords are used later. When we want to save some data in a program, we use variables. This data can be of many different types. It can be numeric, like age. It can be single letter, like Y or N, as an answer to the question, Are you married? It can be textual, like name, address, etc. There are different data types available to store in each type of data. Based on the data type, different amount of space is allotted on the hard drive for the variable. When we define a variable, we have to specify the variable's data type and the name by which we will identify it. Let us now see the different types of data types available to us. When we want to save only one character, like capital or small letters or numbers or symbols, we make use of char or character. Int, long, short are used when we want to save whole numbers. If signed is written before the variable type, it means that the number can be negative or positive. If unsigned is written before the variable type, it means that the number can be positive only. If nothing is specified, then the variable is considered as signed. This table gives us details of how many bytes of data are required for each variable type and the range of the data that it can store. If you want to save decimal numbers, then floating variables are used. Now, let's see a program which shows how to give commands to create variables. int marks semicolon unsigned integer b semicolon float balance semicolon we can give the variables a value at the same time as its creation this is called as initialization for example integer year is equal to 2018 semicolon c++ is a case sensitive language integer small a and integer capital a are considered as two different variables by the compiler so, pay attention to the usage of small and capital letters. Note, instead of giving variable names as just A and B, if meaningful names are given to the variables, then it will be easier for you to understand the program. For example, integer marks in English, integer marks in English, semicolon, float percentage, semicolon. Constant variable. We can change the value of a variable in the program at any time. But sometimes we need some variables whose value can never be changed. We make use of the keyword constant at such times. For example, constant integer pi is equal to 3.14 semicolon. If you try to change the value of a constant variable in your program, then the program will not compile and an error will be displayed. 